could pay the price for your sins. Only Christ and Christ alone. Sometimes it's easy to read the stories in the Bible like you're reading a newspaper or an email or Facebook. It's just another account of a story that happened ages ago. But remember, these aren't just retellings of a fairy tale or an ancient legend. These are eyewitness accounts of those who saw Jesus, who spoke with him, ministered with him, laughed and cried with him. One day, we will be able to hear those stories, not just as words on a page, but from the mouths of the people who lived it. And get this, Mary, Paul, Peter, all of them will be waiting eagerly to hear our stories too. They'll beg us to tell them about the last days. What was it like to live for Jesus in the closing ages of Earth's history? Just like them, we have our own little vignettes, our own story of how Jesus has shaped our lives. And our story will end in the best possible way with the coming of Jesus in the clouds to claim his kingdom back from Satan once and for all. And what better way to end our Easter celebration than with a song celebrating the triumphant victory of Christ over sin and his second coming. As we said at Christmas, Handel's Messiah was written about the return of Christ as king again. And it's tradition to stand and sing with the choir when this song plays. So I invite all of you once more in the congregation, please join the Fuesta Choir by standing with us one stand and sing our last song, the Hallelujah Chorus.